Hello everybody, this is Mysterious Airview. Today I'm going to be reviewing a 500 point game. This one is called Blaze Blue. And it is a fighter game. Kind of takes an interesting view at the fighter genre. And the full name is Blaze Blue Super Millie Brawlers Battle Royale. I mean, if you're gonna take Smash Bros name, then I'm gonna compare you to Smash Bros. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, there's single player mode, and there's free battle, and then there's return to the title screen. Looks slightly deceiving, because it looks like you've got three modes, but you actually only got two. This is pretty much the closest thing there is to, like, a classic mode. And there are five characters, each with their own attacks and special. I'm gonna go with Ragna here. Ragnar's probably the easiest and most broken character, no doubt. To play the game, all you really do is, um, you just need to know three buttons. B is to jump, A is to do your special, and Y is to do a regular attack. That's probably the most disappointing thing about this game, is that there are only two attacks. Anyway, if you take a look here, this mode is point mode. Um, so you pretty much just beat the crap out of each other and get points for it. You'll notice, of course, that the game is like 3D. Like, not 2.5D like a lot of fighters are, but 3D. And this kind of adds to it, but it also can really subtract to it. Now, one of the fundamental things in fighter games is having like a lot of moves and stuff. Or at least having, like, a lot of combos. But this game really does not have that. I mean, if you mash the Y button over and over, or I think in one case the A button, then, um, it'll sort of be a combo, but it's still just one move. And there you go. I won that. And then there's a few more modes. The next one's Life, which is extremely broken with this character, Ragna. Because each character's special has like its own effect. One can freeze enemies. One one is just a large gust of wind that can blow enemies off the stage. Um, but this one actually sucks some life out of enemies and gives it to you. Which means as far as life is concerned, life matches, uh, this character is about as broken as can get. There are also sometimes items and you can use those with X. Like, for example, there's that frog that, for whatever reason, is called George. And there's a bowling ball. Now, as I was saying earlier, it the 3D-ness kind of adds and kind of subtracts to it. Now, it really subtracts to it because... Normally, you'd have, like, in fighters, you'd have a lot of different moves be with, like, you'd press, like, A and down, or, you know, some kind of direction and button combination. But here, you can't do that, because down, um, you know, down is a direction here. If I move down, I'll move towards, I'll move towards, like, right here. And if I move, same if I move up, if I'll move towards the other side. This is a flag match, which I think are actually extremely dumb. Because the way it works is whoever has the flag at the end um, is the winner. So what I find much easier to do is either A, just grab the flag and then run around for the full minute. Which doesn't always work out too well. Or just sit there and do nothing for like 30 seconds. Like uh, um, amuse yourself with something else. And then, after it's been like 30 seconds, then come in and try and get the flag. But I think I'm just going to wait here until someone tries and approaches me to take the flag. And there you go, there's a flag match. They're, like I said, they're really dumb. 
Then there's always a special stage which is kind of random. This is a flag match where you fight all like all the, the three enemies are these guys. I'm not even gonna show this. I'm just gonna go back to the menu. And then after the special match there's always a boss fight against a Ragna. But if you are Ragna yourself, it's incredibly easy because you just suck out their life. It's a life match, I should mention. Um now it it does have actually quite nice graphics. I like them a lot. And sounds are pretty good too. And um you can have multiplayer. And so therefore it works pretty well if you have you know four people. In fact, I think you can only have four players. I don't think you can just have a one-on-one. -on -one. Um the problem is that of course it really limits the move sets. Another thing about this game that it's missing, another kind of fundamental thing that a lot of fighter games would have, is unlockable characters. I went and beat the single player mode with every single character, and nothing. So there you go, it's kinda... Replay value is not too great. It is fun for a while, but the fact is that the fun just kinda goes away. So, I, I don't think I'd recommend it. If you want, though, if you really want, you can still try it out. Um, I think I heard somewhere that there was some kind of console version that this sort of goes with. But anyway, if you like this review, then you can check out the full written one on my website. Also, you can check out my videos. Please rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.